So I want to teach you how to read the ruler. This is my favorite tool, but when we first look at the ruler, it's a bit confusing. I've got a bunch of numbers. I've got a bunch of places for my blades to go in. I've got a bunch of arrows. I've got lines. So I want to go through all of this. The lines that we have here, those lines we use for our fabric. If my fabric was further up, let's say that my fabric was right here, where I have my pink, imagine it being up here. When I go to cu cut with my blade, my blade doesn't actually start cutting till right about here. So I want my fabric to be past that line, and that's on both ends. These lines here for our blades to go in, we want to know the measurements from here to here, where that blade's going to be in. It's arrow to arrow. So it starts here from arrow to arrow. Now if you're right-handed, right-handers are going to look from the right side in. So if I'm looking at for right-handed from the right side in, if my blade goes in here from arrow to arrow, I have one and five eighths right here. If I continue on and I place my blade right, in, right inside this slot here from here to here, I've got two and a half from arrow to arrow right in here. One of my favorite widths to do for bindings isn't two and a quarter, two and a half, it's three inches. From here over to here, you can see that three. So from here to this slot right here, I've got three inches. So when we're looking at this ruler, you've got to decide, are we right-handed or left-handed? Do I look from the left side or the right side? With me being left-handed, I'm gonna look from here over. So from here to here, with my blade inside of here, I've got from arrow to arrow, one and a quarter. These arrows here, from arrow all the way down on the other side, there's an arrow at the other edge, all that slot is from here to here is one and a quarter. From here to here, I've got one and a quarter plus one. Here's my two and a quarter from arrow to arrow, two and a quarter. When we look at these slots that are not labeled, this one doesn't have a label here. It's too crowded. I had asked John, why don't we have a label there? And he said, duh, Linda, it's too crowded. There's not enough space. But from here to here, if we lined it up with our mat, that's a half of an inch. I use a half of an inch a lot for demoing to show why this ruler doesn't need to be see-through because I can, can fussy cut. I'll show that a little bit later on. From this arrow to this arrow, from here to here, I've got an inch. From here to here, no measurement, again, because it's too busy. But from here to here is seven eighths. So I'm gonna flip the ruler so we can see left-handed versus right-handed. We're gonna zoom out and then take a look at how we actually lay this ruler out with our fabric.